Welcome to YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Math. In this lecture, we discuss the basic power method to determine the dominant or the largest eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector. The learning objectives of this lecture are in previous lecture, we have already studied uh, the introduction, convergence, and when may you apply the power method and the application of the basic power method so in this lecture we will solve example using the basic power method to determine the dominant or the largest eigenvalue of the matrix okay first we discuss the algorithm for the power method and then we will solve example using the basic power method okay so first start a start start with a column vector that is the xi vector of length n means this is the our initial vector okay okay the vector can be any non zero vector okay so this vector should be non zero vector second we have multiply the starting vector or the initial vector by the matrix a the result is a column vector that is xi plus 1 okay so like that when we multiply the matrix a with the initial vector then we have a new column vector that will be the xi plus 1 okay so third we have uh, normalized the resulting vector xi we will normalize this vector the new vector okay how we will normalize this vector this is done by factoring out or the common we can also say that by taking the common the largest element in the vector which vector the xi plus one the new resulting vector okay the result is a multiplicative factor times a normalized vector means uh, this will be like that we have a vector and there will be a multiplicative factor like c and and uh, like that okay so this will be the normalized vector and this is the multiplicative vector the normalized vector has the value one for which the element that is used to be the largest okay so while the absolute values of the rest of the element are less than one okay so i will show you this one uh, with the help of example when we will solve the example i will show you okay so next we have assign the normalized vector without multiplicative factor like that and this is the uh, normalized vector to the xi okay so now we we will have over here the new vector normalized vector okay so and go back to the first step and then we again repeat this step okay so next the iteration the iterations continue in this manner until the difference between the initial vector xi and the normal and the normalized vector xi plus 1 is less than some specified tolerance means the error between the new calculated or the normalized vector minus the initial vector should be less than some uh, specified tolerance okay so we will find this by using the infinity norm okay here you can see that there are many other different methods to calculate okay uh, to calculate the error okay after that the last multiplicative factor is the largest eigenvalue and the normalized vector is the associated eigenvector okay so we can also see say that this is our stopping criteria when the error between the 
new calculated vector and the initial vector is less than uh, some specified tolerance okay so this mean after this one we will stop the iterations okay so it's mean this is our also a stopping criteria okay so now let's start uh, solving example using the basic power method okay so we have example determine the largest or dominant eigen value of this following matrix we have a square matrix that is 3 cross 3 matrix and uh, we have also given a starting vector that is the uh, initial vector that is xi okay so let's start solving this example okay solution so we, first we have the equation that is the xi plus 1 which is equal to the vector a matrix a times the initial vector that is the starting column vector okay so for uh, i is equal to 1 for i is equal to 1 we have the first iteration and this this equation will becomes uh, x2 which is equal to the matrix a times the starting vector in the starting the vector 1 okay to so substitute all these uh, matrix this matrix and the column vector x1 okay so after substituting uh, the vector matrix A and uh, the vector X1 and uh, when we multiply the matrix A with the matrix X1 we will get a new matrix that is Xi plus 1 means X up 2. Okay. So now we will take the common. Here we can see that this is the largest element in this vector. So we will take common out the largest vector like that and we divide the other elements by this one okay so we can see that uh, this is one and the other elements are less than one okay so similarly uh, we have the iteration two okay so now now we have a new normalized vector that is x2 which is equal to this one okay now we again repeat this step for second iteration so in iteration 2 now the normalized vector x2 which is equal to this one is multiplied by the matrix a okay so now x of 3 which is equal to matrix a times the uh, normalized vector x2 okay so after multiplying the matrix a with the vector normalized vector x2 we have a resulting vector x3 and which is equal to this one now we again taking common or factorizing factor, uh, the largest eigenvalue and the largest value from the column vector okay so this is the largest now we again by, uh, by taking common and uh, take common out this one and dividing the other elements by this value and again we can see that this is one and other than this one all are less than one okay so now we have a new normalized vector that is x3 this one without the multiplicating factor okay so again we go back to the step one means like this one this step and uh, in this case for the third iteration we have the normalized vector this one and this is multiplied by the matrix a okay so this will give us a new vector that will be the x4 okay so this one is the matrix a times the new vector normalized vector x3 after multiplication we get a new matrix that is the x4 column okay so column vector which is equal to and again we will take out our common we will take taking common the largest element from this column vector and dividing the other elements by this one okay so now we have uh, this one this is the multiplicative vector and with the largest eigen with the largest norm sorry uh, this is the multiplicative vector with the normalized vector okay 
so in the next two iterations on the same steps similarly we have for x5 and for x6 we multiply the matrix a with the normalized vector x4 we get a new column vector and then we again taking common the largest value from this one and dividing the other element okay similarly for x6 and in this case we have a new normalized vector is this one and after two more iterations x of 7 and x of 8 we have a, a new vector that is the x9 which is equal to matrix a times the uh, normalized vector x8 which is equal to this one okay so multiplying the matrix a with the normalized vector x8 we get a new vector that is x9 and now we are again taking the largest value common and dividing the other we have a, a multiplicative factor with the normalized vector x9 okay so we uh, the result shows that the difference between the uh, starting vector x1 and the normalized vector x9 getting smaller here we here we can see that and this vector 0 0.3731 0 0.3411 0 0.325 these are this and this is getting smaller and smaller after the iterations okay so the value this means the and the value of the multiplicative factor is 7.7401 is an estimate of the largest eigenvalue or the dominant eigenvalue okay so here we can also use the stopping criteria like that the new normalized vector minus the previous one and norm of this one there are many different should be less than the specified tolerance In the end there are more many uh, methods to calculate the error okay so let's find the largest eigen largest or dominant eigen value using the ndt lab software and you can download the ndt software from the uh, link available in the video video description okay so here we select the method first uh, we have the the basic power method and this is the power method okay first we set the size of the matrix and we have a 3 cross 3 matrix we will write over here 3 then click on set size of the matrix okay now insert the elements of the matrix that is 4 2 minus 2 and uh, minus 2 okay now insert the starting vector or uh, the initial vector that is 1 1 and 1 okay and the specified tolerance is 0 0.001 okay so after inserting all these values in the matrix and the vector now click on the compute okay so here we can see that that is the after first iteration 7 7 is the largest eigenvalue and the uh, corresponding eigenvalue is corresponding eigenvector is this one and after second iteration we have a third iteration and uh, similarly after four five six and similarly after 15 iteration we have a uh, 7.69 is the largest eigenvalue and the corresponding vector is this one okay download this software from the link that is available in video description 
and uh, thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math and in a uh, next lecture we will write a matlab code for the power method